Hi guys. All right, let's see. Amar. Uh, let's attracting magical creatures is what he was commenting on, and he said, "I've always been interested in dragons since I was little, but over the years I've been drawn to centaurs and humanoid beings with horns." Do you have any experience interacting with these? Absolutely. Dragons are my, I would have to say, all-time favorite beings, without a doubt. I think I've done videos on dragons back in my other ones. They are magnificent uh, beings, and they're, they're not magical creatures as you would think of them. They're far beyond that. Uh, dragons are beings that are definitely in dragon form. Now, true dragons, the original dragons, uh, can, they look like you think of dragons, and there are all kinds of smaller versions of dragons that people call dragons that aren't really dragons. They're, they would be like dragonettes, or uh, they're humanoid beings that, like the reptilians, that kind of got some characteristics that are from the dragons. Um, but the original dragons, they are very unique beings. Um, and they come out directly from source, and then they travel around and they have their experience. And where I come out from source, and I'm energy, and a lot of beings are. A lot of us come out of, of source or separate or, oh, so hard to explain. But we're in, in energy, and I stay, stay in energy. Whereas dragons kind of come out as dragons. And they will travel between the games. Um, so, I think of a dragon. A dragon can be the size of this whole game. Uh, but since you don't really understand what that means, dragons can make themselves the size of a galaxy. A dragon can be the size of all of the galaxies out out that you can see. All If you took all of the stars, everything you see out there, and surround it, the dragons can get that big and bigger. They can actually travel between the games. Um, yeah, they're amazing, amazing. There's a reason why they're known for being um, wise, because they are incredibly wise, and they... Uh, travel around, they like to watch the games. Uh, they, yeah, they, then they learn from the games. They like collect data from all the games. Uh, and just go from one to the other, and they'll go into a game, and they'll get smaller and smaller, and buzz around and see it from every aspect, every dimension, every, every way you can see a game, the dragons will do that. And, uh, they're really, really cool, cool creatures. Very cool creatures. But being able to tell whether it's one of the smaller versions um, and whether it's a real dragon, well, once you meet one and, and know of the real ones on the other side, then you can't miss them because their vibration is very, very unique. Uh, they, it kind of, in a skin suit, they would, you would have a hard time breathing. You'd catch your breath around them. Their energy is very, very powerful. As a matter of fact, if the closest thing to being a god, as people talk about, would be a dragon. Not that I'm saying they're gods any more than you're a god. But, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty magnificent. Now, Amar, as, it, as far as it comes to, uh, relates to you and the, the uh, horned creatures, there is a reason for this. And the reason is, well, it's complicated. If we ever have a session, I'll go into all of that. But the point here to be made that I'll share because it'll help others is when you go to look for magical creatures on your way to 5D, you want to vibrate with horned beings. Okay? That's who you're going to vibrate with. They are the ones that you're going to see first. And so this being drawn to them over the years that's your higher self saying, hey, you know, pay attention, watch, call for. And the reason why is because your vibrations naturally, your um, beingness here, your consciousness here in your skin suit combination are going to vibrate 
closer to the horned creatures. So it'll be easier for you to access them first, see them first. Uh, you could actually see them now pretty easily if you just believed it. Um, they're already around you, and you're, you're right. You've been drawn to them. They've been drawn to you. Um, they show up all the time. Uh, I am pretty sure you have seen them in the in the corner of your eyes. You just kind of went, oh, no, that can't be. But it can be, and they are there. They're ready for you whenever you're ready to believe that they exist. And that is your way, because they're very much 5D creatures. So all of you guys out there that are heading to 5D, you'll be drawn to some being. It can be an alien. It can be a magical creature. It can be a, a human. Because there are humans that are already in 5D. So whatever it is you're being drawn to, if you will follow that, then they will kind of, you're drawn to that being, whether it's, because it, these, these are aliens that are 5D aliens. These are all good aliens. So whether it's an alien or magical creature or another human, if you're drawn to that, if you'll, if you'll flow into that, then they will kind of help show you what 5D vibration looks like, feels like. And they'll kind of, they won't do it for you, but they'll stand beside you. They'll stand next to you kind of a little bit in front of you. And if you want to open your eyes, you can see where they're stepping, so to speak, how they're stepping. So, and you can go, oh, okay, so that's how you do it. Let me see if that'll work for me. And you can make a step and make a step. And they'll show you the way. And the more you step with them, the closer you get. And um, eventually what you'll be doing is you'll be doing it side by side and talking and communicating and probably telepathically, not with your mouth. But that's why those are done. That's why I said that you need to find whatever it is you're being drawn to and follow it, no matter what. And if you got to watch the aliens, because remember, there's aliens all over the place um, that are in 4D. But if that's where you're supposed to be, just go with it, guys. Don't be so, uh, uh, don't panic about any of it. Uh, I wouldn't want to go back down to 3D, but ultimately, if that's where you're meant to go, you're going to go, period. But you probably wouldn't be listening to me if that's where you're going, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, I don't have anybody that's that's heading to 3 and 2D right now that's that's a subscriber to me. And I don't expect to. So, yeah, that's the reason why you are drawn to horned creatures. And all of you eventually that are going to 5D will be drawn to something. Uh, one of these beings. There's, there's always somebody that's out there that you've set up that is your friend to uh, kind of be there to, to kind of go, hey, you know, this way, this way. If you want to follow, nobody's going to make you follow, and you don't have to look at any of them. You can walk that walk to 5D all by yourself, but they are available. It's just like your higher self is there, just like your pub friends are there. Um, these beings are there as well uh, for to, uh, to give you support if you want it. Okay? All right. Well, thank you so much for watching my video and any other videos. Um, I have a bunch of interesting videos. You should check them out. They are very, very unique. Thank you for my Patreon people, my PayPal people, and those that book sessions with me. Uh, it means the world. It really does, and it's exciting to connect with you on all those wave fronts because I connect every time. Anytime you guys send money through PayPal or Patreon, I'm connecting with you at that point. We exchange how do you do's, you know. It, I know you in those moments. I feel you in those moments. Hopefully you can feel me too. And then someday we'll do a session and we can meet each other even more completely, shall we say. All right, well, that's it for this one. Love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.